Okay, we have a bead that's dropped a tabletop and it bounces to 90% of its previous height. Well, then, let's see how we might model this. Well, if we drop from a height, why not? Y sub zero red, why not? That's just whatever height we start at. We drop it from some height and it goes to 90%. It bounces back to 90% of that height. So, um, how far did it bounce? Well, how high did it go? It went to 0.9. Why not? Because, of course, 90% is 90 per 100, 0.9. Okay? So that's how high it is on the first bounce. Then how high does it go? Well, it goes to, well, it gets up to that height, and what happens? It drops from that height. So it goes to 90% of that. So that's 0.9 multiplied by 0.9. Why not? Okay, because it, that's where it dropped from when it started its second drop. It went to this height. Well, then what's it going to do? Right out the next couple, see what you get. Well, okay, I'm going to say 90% of that is 0.9 times 0.9 times 0.9. Why not? And 90% of that is what? Well, I'm getting tired of writing out those 0.9s. I don't want to write out four of them, but it's going to be 0.9 times this. But I can write that as 0.9 to the fourth times y naught. Okay? Now repeat n bounces the next bounce will be what? Well, let's see, this is after one bounce. You drop it, it bounces, there's how high it is. This is after two bounces, three bounces, four bounces, every time we're multiplying by 0.9, so we're going to have to multiply by 0.9 n times. Point 0.9 to the n times y naught. Now the question is how far does the ball travel? Well, if you know how far it drops from each time and how far it bounces to each time, you can figure out how far it travels. Another analogous bit of notation that might or might not be useful, you probably don't need it, but we could say that y1 equals 0.9 y0 y2 equals 0.9 y1, y3 equals 0.9 y2, etc. Okay. So y sub n has to equal 0.9 to the n times y naught. Now in the problem in your packet. You were given the blind naught. I think it might have been a meter. You can see what it was. Uh, and I think it was 0.9, uh, but you might have had another question that had something besides 0.9. You should be able to figure out how to adapt that. Now the question of how you get the total distance. Um, it's a very good question. I want to see how you handle that. But there's a good start on the question. Uh, now notice, I've used a notation here, not the same type of notation I used here, I didn't use function notation, I could have, okay? Um, and I could have used very, very much similar notation to this one. The point is, I'm just using notation, I'm using subscripts here, I'm using something like superscripts here, to name what I have at each step, and to then be able to write out the relationship between one step and the next.